Okay, so um, as you know, last night I talked about um, being inspired to do some rigging, uh, watching um, the uh, Maxon uh, presentation. I've watched part one, now I'm partway through part two, and uh, I'll, keep, I'll go through it until I complete it. And the way I'm, I'm doing it, it's kind of the way I, I like to use my time on the elliptical for something other than just doing the elliptical. So I um, have been watching, that's where I've been watching the videos. But of course, the, to really learn anything, especially with this stuff, you have to, you have to, you have to fight with it. Um, any of this kind of stuff you have to fight with. You can't just read it. Um, at least for me. I mean, I was, I was the kid in college who, uh, I, I never read math, my math textbooks. I would just take the book and use it as a reference for, for working a lot of problems. That's how I learned. Everyone is different, obviously, that way. Um, but that's what, that's what works for me. So what I did is I didn't want to do the exact thing he was doing because that. And I, then I'm going to get too caught up in the little details of what he, you know, every little move he made. And I'm not going to, you know, I don't think I'm going to learn as much. So I decided I was going to make a little uh, ball swatter, for lack of, lack of it. Or uh, I guess some, something like a, a, a racket or a baseball bat or something of that nature. So we got... A base. It's very similar to what he did. Got two legs, and then instead of a, a lamp that's going to be laid out to be a lamp, this is a this is the bat, if you will. And um, I did both the forward and the uh, the um, inverse IK. I think that's what they call it. Or, um. So let's talk about what they are first. Uh, he goes over that. I mean, this, this series is quite good, quite good uh, if you're looking to learn. So forward, basically, you start from point A, B, C, D. And like this is the, uh, this thing, if I select this. It's going to tilt back. It's going to tilt the entire thing. Um, and I don't think it's even anyway. I'll have to play with that. Um, and if you tilt this. Oh, something's funny. I'm going to have to look at it. But you get the general idea of. Uh, this is. Th it's all based on parent. So you, you have the tilt back joint which does that and you can see you have this joint here which should but is not moving anything it should this is should be a child of this joint but it also seems to be not a We got, this is our joint pole, and, well, I think I managed to mess it up, but at any rate, the idea of what's going to happen is, this is going to come back, and this is going to swat, and I'm going to have, essentially, a ball go in this direction, fly towards it, and then it's going to hit it, and of course, I'm going to use the, um, the physics where this be a collider and so on and they'll they'll have collision and all that so um that is kind of the plan um and uh we'll see what happens um we will see what happens but i really want to do this be and um because I thought it would be kind of a cool thing to learn. Now he's starting to talk about weighted, which is a totally different thing, because when you get beyond these mechanical things, like if you have a, 
And I was wondering this. I said, if you have some model that you made of a character, how are you going to, to get it to work with the rigs? You can't parent. Well, that's what he's talking about now in part two. So, um, so I guess a few things um, that I learned. Uh, first of all, you have to be very careful with this parenting. As you can see, you can get yourself nice and hosed. Um, the other thing I'd recommend, and I mess this up, is set up your rig, get your rig working, your, your joints working. Don't parent anything initially. Move all your, your outer, your items that <clears throat> it's supposed to control into, into place. And then, and then do the parenting because if you have to move something around, it's much more of a pain once you've parented, you have to unparent, and it just it just um, becomes a bit of a a bit of a mess. So um, that's that was the other big takeaway I had playing with this. Uh, and um, so yeah, that was the other takeaway. Um, set up your rig first, move everything into place, then do your parenting, and remember parenting. The parent controls the movements of the child, but the child can move independently of the parent. And, and what I'm talking about here is, okay, so this joint here is a parent of, of the base. I'm going to move this no no while because I don't even think we need it. I think that's part of causing the problem. So we got this joint here, and I, well, I managed to, <laughs> let's go back. I am gonna do a little control Z, and uh, at any rate, um, let's look at this joint here. This joint, I think, is working. And you can see it is rotating, it should be. I feel like it's not moving the way it was before. Um, And that could be the IK rig, is what I'm beginning to wonder. At any rate, um, the parent controls the child. And so if the, here, this, this tilt back joint, it controls the base. That I know that should work. And you can see it does. Not necessarily to the benefit of the uh, of this thing, but uh, you get the idea. So that's how the parenting works. But I can turn around and uh, independently, uh, um, if I move this base, let's see. Now that's is very interesting here. We got a problem here, but you can see I can move it independently, but the base, it looks like the null is causing a problem in terms of, uh, I'm going to do it this way and see what happens. Let's see if that somewhat fixes things because now See, that's going to move independently, but if I hit the base and I move the base, it should move. It, see, it moves the whole shebang. Yeah, I think that was my problem. Um, IK is a totally different, it's going the opposite direction. So one of these nulls is my... 
Now this is my joint pull, and this moves things like this. And then we have our, I think it's this, yeah. And uh, as you can see, I think, um, what's this snow? No, it's, it's definitely the snow. This is our, um, this is our destination. So the whole idea with IK is, let me show you the IK uh, tag that's on joint. So you have your start, which is joint, your end, which is joint three, which is here, and the goal, in this case you have a goal, and you don't always have a goal. I should, am I looking at the right thing here? I should be looking at this tag. Okay. So the goal is this null, which I should really rename. And the whole idea is... <laughs> not quite doing what it's supposed to. Is I want to move... Oh, because I'm in the wrong spot. That would... Uh, that would... That would mess you up. Here's, here it is. So the whole idea is... You see, I want to move this to a specific spot, and it's used a lot in, um, and I'm beginning to kind of pull these concepts together because I dealt a lot with IK rigging, IK rigs, when you're when you're working with um, Mixamo or meta human characters, and you're you're um, you're taking the animation from one thing and um, moving it to another. So you have this animation, you want to move it on a Mixamo, and let's say and you want to move it on to a uh, MetaHuman. Uh, it's called IK retargeting. So you, ha you, you deal with that, you look at the IK rigs, and generally you don't set up gold. Um, because I guess that's a good question why you don't. But if I recall, we generally did not set up, we may have had one goal, but you're not setting up goals on every IK um, path, if you will, uh, I, this, uh, this I, IK, um, let's go down here, Whoop. this IK, uh, tag, where you have an end, and you have, and you're on the start, you do have starts and ends, but if you think about it, why would you want a IK for a character? Well, you want to put the hand or the foot at a particular place. Like I was uh, looking at mar dealing with martial arts motion capture. Okay, so that's animation. And you wanted to be able to put the hand and the foot in a certain place. And the whole concept is when you are on this null, and you're moving things, you see everything else comes along with it. So you don't have to think. And the way he explained it is he showed, well, if you don't have this, what you have is the, you have to move the joints. So I'll move this joint, that joint, and eventually you'll come to where you want to move the thing. With IK, you don't have to worry about that. If I want to move it back here, let's say, to, uh, whoop, I want to do a baseball swing, let's say, because that's what eventually something like that is what, what my plan is. So let's get this. Still learning to use this. Yeah, you got to be very, whoop. So, get the old, what? <laughs> there we go. You can see it. Okay, so right now, this is pretty stretched out. I want to go to the null. And bring it back. 
and bring it up. So we have this back here. We want it back here. And then let's put a, a, uh, a keyframe uh, on the null. So we want uh, And then we want to move it well, we got our keyframe and we're gonna move let's say 30 frames and we want it now here so so now we can go back and as you can see you moved it but you notice I didn't have to iterate back and forth I just had to move the uh, the thing where I wanted it and let's stop this and go back and I believe with this too you can get that and move it however you'd like So you'd only have to worry about this one joint instead of then having to go here and worry about this joint and where this joint is not, <laughs> not, co oh, I don't want to move the joint that way. I want to move it this way. So it's not, it's not, it's not rotating or doing, let me see, it's doing some crazy stuff. But eventually what I'm going to have, I mean, we got all little animation here. And you can see it's, it's kind of a start. Not quite what I want yet, obviously. A lot more work to do on this. Um... <laughs> In fact, given the mistake I made in terms of uh, the way I I did things, and not um, you know this rotation should be zero zero what zero zero and zero and it should be a little bit higher. But you notice how everything is sort of uh, now joined together. So it gets a little bit more complicated handling things once you have this. But, uh, and of course I'm, I'm enjoying my uh, space mouse. Which really is helpful for this sort of thing, any kind of modeling or animation. Anyway, um, hopefully this has been interesting. I'd urge you to look at the series. Um, it, like I said, you know, get your rig going. Get your, your asset, you know, your thing you're pairing to the rig. Make sure it's all lined up and then do the pairing. That, that was the big mistake I made. Huh, there must be some kind. This interesting lighting. It's like there's, I guess, the default lighting from, uh, and the reflections. Because this is shiny material. I wanted to stand out for you. Um, on one other thing before I go to point out. Um, this is one thing he pointed out in terms of the joints. 
you can make it's, it's by default by length which means you can have really wide joints if you put it in custom mode then you can set the width with whatever you'd like i believe you can even set it he talked about line mode but um anyway um thank you for watching and uh i will speak to you next time take care